I'm surprised I could think of 50 facts about me, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Even though my name is Cherry, I actually really do not like anything cherry flavored except the actual fruit. I have an unhealthy obsession with cat's paws. Their little feet, I just want to squish them and kiss them and I do not swear in my YouTube videos. I think there's a few early videos where I did, but now I do not swear at all. If I do, I beep them out, but I do actually swear in real life. It's a bad habit, but I'm an adult and I'm allowed. Yep. The next one, I'm a little bit uncomfortable talking about because I don't tell anybody. I've told a couple of my close friends and my family know, but yeah, I still suck my thumb on my right hand and I have all of my life, mainly when I'm in bed watching TV or something. But yeah, it's a habit I never kicked. I actually really hate spicy food because I just can't handle it. I am petrified of moths. It doesn't matter if they're small moths, big moths, I don't like them. And I think my fear is actually getting worse the older I get. I have two conkers that live in my bedroom in the corner by my bedroom door because I read that it keeps spiders away and I believe it really does work because I haven't had a spider in my room since. I consider myself to be quite short. I am five foot four, but it's a happy size and I'm okay with it. I very rarely drink alcohol, I hate being drunk, and I hate hangovers, so I tend to avoid it. I despise peanut butter, but I really like peanuts. I still listen to the Spice Girls. I am too scared to watch horror films. I've never in my life watched any of the high school musical movies, so... There's that. When I was about six years old, I was walking through the park with my family and a swarm of wasps attacked me and I had about 10 wasps which got stuck in my hair, which I think is what started my fear of flying bugs. I named my car Bumblebee because of the film Transformers. Up until about two years ago, I thought that antlers were pronounced anklers and I only found out the right way of pronouncing it because I said it in a video and you guys corrected me and it was, Really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm a big believer in the law of attraction. If you don't know what it is, Google it. I secretly love Justin Bieber. I love his music. I think he's glorious to look at. And I've also watched both of the Justin Bieber movies back to back. I have no regrets and I'm not sorry. My favorite YouTuber is Natalie Tran from Community Channel. I sometimes feel as though I can predict the future, which sounds crazy, but a couple of times recently, I have thought something was gonna happen and then it did, so. I'm magical. I really do not like people walking behind me up the stairs. I feel as though I have to run because I have a fear of someone chasing me up the stairs. I just don't like it. It's a horrible feeling. Do not do it. Ever. I actually find tidying and cleaning my house very therapeutic. I still really love Peter Andre. It's a love that will just never die. I have two songs which are constantly in my head that drive me insane. One of them is Pina Colada. I don't know the actual title, but you know what I'm talking about. And the other one is A Whole New World from Aladdin. They just, they just won't go out of my head. It's driving me crazy. I actually remember 99% of my dreams. I have actually never broken a bone in my entire life. I'm actually a proud owner of a Blue Peter badge and I squealed when I got it at the age of 24. I had my first kiss at 14 years old. I absolutely love shopping for cushions, even though I have way too many. I have never lost or broken a phone or any piece of technology, actually. I'm very careful. <laughs> I really, really want to travel, but I'm scared of traveling by myself. I'm currently reading four books, one of which is Life with a Sprinkle of Glitter, Girl Boss, The Secret, and All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. If I'm traveling anywhere or packing something, I have to plan down to the minute, and I also have to write lists when I'm packing something. It actually took me eight months to fully recover from my concussion I got last September. When I go to restaurants, I usually end up ordering the same thing over and over again because I'm too scared that if I order something I've never had before, I won't like it and it will be a waste of money. I really enjoy spending time in bookshops. I sleep with seven pillows on my bed. I have three either side and then I have the royal pillow, which is a temper memory foam pillow, which I love a lot. It's so comfortable. <laughs> Even though I've been to London hundreds of times, I still get really anxious about going. I have never thrown away any fan letters. I've kept every single one of them since I started my YouTube channel. I am a silent sleeper to the point that when I'm sleeping in the same room as someone, a lot of the time they check if I'm dead or not. <laughs> 
When I was eight years old, I had to look after two hissing cockroaches because it was the school pet over the summer holidays and I hated it so much. Ugh. I am one of these people in restaurants that when the waiter brings the cheese over and says, say when, when you want to stop, it gets really awkward because I really, really like cheese. So they end up grating like the whole block. I know it's really bad, but I often skip breakfast and it's really unhealthy to do, but I very rarely eat breakfast. I normally go straight for lunch or I have what I was gonna have for breakfast at lunchtime. I need to sort that out. <laughs> I got given my first ever computer when I was seven years old and I used to spend hours and hours on Microsoft Paint drawing things. The biggest diva moment was when I quit my waitressing job a very long time ago because they wouldn't give me a break and they were treating me badly and I cried and shouted I quit and left and I never went back. <laughs> I don't like drinking fizzy drinks because I don't like the way the bubbles make it feel and I find them quite difficult to actually consume. I passed my driving test on my second attempt. I would have passed first time if my examiner wasn't a mean, mean man. He wasn't very nice. <laughs> In year seven at school, I tried to learn the violin. I thought it was really sophisticated to learn to do it, but it ended up sounding like a strangled cat, so I gave up. I usually don't fall asleep till at least 2 a.m., which is, again, a very bad habit. <laughs> I get angry with my cat on quite a regular basis because he brings to me dead gifts all of the time. Today, he left a rat on my bathroom floor. He brought it into the house and put it onto my bathroom floor and presented it to me as a gift. Does anyone want to adopt a cat? And those are 50 facts about me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment with a fact about you if you haven't already. And I guess I will see you next time. Toodle pip, friends.